Resident doctors also in the University of Port Harcourt Teaching Hospital on Monday pulled out from the strike embarked upon by the National Association of Resident Doctors. On Monday, NARD announced its strike on Sunday, citing shortages of personal protective equipment and poor remuneration for members as reasons for the strike. Dr. Samuel Ame, the chairman of the ARD in UPTH, told newsmen that the branch would not join the strike. According to him, the association with over 500 doctors decided against joining the industrial action called by its national body due to its concerns over rising cases of COVID-19 in the state. Dr. Samuel Ame, President of Resident Doctors, University of Port Harcourt Teaching Hospital, now joins us. Good morning, Dr. Ame. Yes, good morning. Now, tell us more why your chapter is not embarking on the strike declared by the national body. Okay, um, thank you very much. Um, as earlier mentioned, the um, Association of Resident Doctors, UPT's branch, has um, decided that uh, presently we would not be embarking on the nationwide threat as they are called by um, the uh, national body, which is not. And the reason for this is not perfect. Um, the COVID-19 pandemic has taken the entire country and indeed all doctors and the community, the Nigerian environment, by surprise. And um, the scale is quite alarming. Um, as, we have, as we are presently, we have some of our colleagues who are down with um, the virus and uh, even at the treatment and isolation center and being treated as well. And um, of course, the cases keep increasing by the day. As it is presently, we have to um, weigh all the constraints and the challenges faced. Definitely, a lot of the demands being made by the Nigerian Association of Resident Doctors are valid. They are not requesting for um, high foundation things. Basic things such as hazard allowance for people who are exposed to life-threatening viruses, not just uh, COVID-19, but of course, we are all focused on COVID-19 presently. Provision of um, personal protective equipment for um, health workers and indeed doctors to see patients effectively. And also insurance policies. We have several colleagues across the country that have lost their lives due to this um, coronavirus um, infection. So as it is, we decided to speak with our stakeholders weighing the peculiarities of our center. We have um, specific challenges as the center, and um, having spoken with some of our stakeholders, the hospital management, as well as the Nigerian Medical Association, we decided for now, that it should be in the best interest for us in UPT to embark on this strike. Mm -hmm. Dr. Ahmed, whereas some quarters have uh, praised this action as noble, there are other concerns like, you know, does this suggest that the government is not guilty of some of these grounds that the national body is embarking uh, on strike, like illegal deductions of your member's salary and allowance and even the lack of adequate PPE that you have mentioned? Where does this put the government? Well, um, you know, we have... Um, the, the, the nature of the Nigerian environment is such that the government is really not held responsible by the public and the stakeholders. And a lot of times they go into agreements that they do not fulfill. They are basic things. In fact, most of the demands we've talked about here are things that shouldn't ordinarily be discussed. But we have a situation whereby the government sometimes is very insincere. And in a case whereby the country is faced with a pandemic, it's quite unfortunate that basic things are not being attended to. Basic requirements, things to encourage workers, basic welfare needs are not being um, paid, uh, given adequate attention. So, and this has contributed a lot to even the brain drain within the country. So this is an opportunity for the government to do something. Stakeholders should hold them accountable, hold them responsible. We are playing our part. We, may, we, we have decided to make this sacrifice at this point haven't um, weighed some of the constraints in our own environment, in UPT specifically. I must state it clearly that um, UPTH is not the only center that has decided to um, exempt themselves from this strike. Each center has certain peculiarities, and because of ours, we decided for now that we would not be participating in this strike. So does this cut across all members of NAD in River State? Is that what you're saying? No, it doesn't cut across all members of NAD. We have um, those... Of our, uh, some of our counterparts at um, the River State University Teaching Hospital, they are on strike. However, like I said, each center has its own peculiarity. And because of that, we have looked at us, spoken with our stakeholders, and looked at the impact on our colleagues, our patients, and decided that for now, we would not be participating in that strike. 
However, some of these decisions, these decisions are actually Congress decisions, and then they are subject to review. But we use this as an opportunity to reach out to the stakeholders and the public to prevail on the federal government, prevail on the state government, to provide the relevant materials for doctors, improve the remunerations for doctors and um, all health workers so that will fight this um, virus effectively. Mm -hmm. Dr. Hame, before I let you go, where does this decision put you in terms of your relationship with the national body? What's the implication? Well, um, as far as implications are concerned, um, we understand the um, importance of this strike. Of course, like I said, the demands are valid. However, we have weighed all our options. It doesn't necessarily mean that we are at loggerhead with our national body, but what it simply means is that each center, you cannot um, judge um, a situation um, broadly, especially when you have a pandemic situation like we have presently. Each center has its own peculiarity, and you must weigh the constraints. Even the national body, I'm sure you are aware, exempted certain um, categories of uh, doctors mm -hmm. from participating in the strike. So there are different peculiarities in each center, and you must decide based on the challenges you face. Right, Dr. Ahmed, thank you so very much for your time, and keep safe out there too. Thank you very much.